Well, hi everyone, this is meteorologist Sam Schreier. I just want to lead everyone on through my forecast and just what we're expecting really over the next several days out of Tropical Storm Harvey. Now there's some good news and bad news, but there's much more bad news out of this storm. The good news is it is weakened away from a Category 4 hurricane, which is what it came on into shore as then it went to a Category 3, 2, 1, now Tropical Storm. The bad news is this is still sitting in the same area. The steering flows for this thing are weak. It is not being being pushed off anywhere and it is dumping extremely heavy rain. Now, not only over Houston, also up towards College Station around the Houston area and even over into Louisiana. There is some very heavy rainfall going on. This storm is going to wobble back over the Gulf and that's going to allow it to re-strengthen a little bit. So first of all, let's talk about some of the rain we've seen. The storm reports have been incredible out of this thing. Generally seeing between 20 to 30 inches of rain that's focused around Houston, but also a few other spots around. This is radar uh, gathered imagery here. This is radar estimation. It may not have been as intense over by College Station to Austin, especially kind of east of Austin, but we still likely saw some 20 inch reports out out west and northwest of Houston, but it looks like the city of Houston itself is with a bullet point of this storm really hit hard. It came in out of the Gulf at Rockport. That's where the huge winds hit. There were even tornadoes wrapped up in the storm and the rain has been the giant thing we've been tracking as it really hits Houston here. Here's what our hurricane tracker is showing. Here's what our models are thinking. So they have it kind of sitting around Houston, but a little bit more south. So remember some of it's by Houston, but some of the main circulation or what's left is actually a little closer to the Corpus Christi area over by Victoria. It's expected to kind of wind back over the Gulf a little bit. Now this won't take its strength back up to a hurricane category, but it's going to move that wind speed up to about 40 to 50, even near 60 miles per hour as it strengthens over that warm ocean water. And then that's going to throw the storm back up towards Houston. This is going to be terrible. Not only do we have huge flooding already in Houston, the ground is wet there. If we get some 40, 50, 60 mile per hour gusts hit those trees that are already in weak soil, they are going to tip over. That's when even more power outage is expected to happen for Houston. If it's going to be happening, it would be more so into this week. The rainfall forecast. Our models are trying their best to get a beat on this. A lot of them have different situations. There's good and bad situations or good and bad forecasts for Houston here. This current model run here, this rain at 7:30 tonight shows Houston by Tuesday evening getting another 15 inches. I have seen estimates on different model runs by Tuesday having that total being up to 25, maybe even the total since it started up around 50 to almost 60 inches of rain. So we already have had 20 to 30 inches. We add another 15 of that on. That's getting us into the 40 inch range. Again, this is another 20. Um, it's really going to get a lot worse out there. So we got to keep Houston in our thoughts as well as several other cities. Beaumont, Texas already getting a lot. College Station could have another 10 inches or more. Even if you've seen maybe four or five inches in Texas, you add on more like this. That is not good for everyone. But the bullet point seems to be right over Houston is our big concern. We'll keep tracking this throughout our newscast during the week. If you want to go ahead and comment on any pictures, reports you've seen, it really helps us out. We'll share those around and just keep Texas in your thoughts, everyone.